Well, unfortunately for everybody, and bafflingly so, especially when the evidence looked like it was just so overwhelmingly in his corner, unless the settlement, which I don't know if we got the details or anything like that, it was just for pennies on the dollar, but Johnny Depp settles his lawsuit, okay, against Greg Rocky Brooks. The guy who said that Johnny Depp punched him on the set of City of Lies, and everybody was like, actually, no, you kind of instigated it, and um, you were actually being the creep on set but again instead of going through all the rigmarole of a trial it has been settled so there will be no coverage at the end of the month and it looks like johnny depp can just move on with his life already and this one once again because it involves a guy who wasn't get who wasn't going to get nearly as much coverage but I guess he just kind of avoided all of this stuff to begin with. Johnny Depp has reached a settlement with a crew member who accused him, oh, accused the actor of assaulting him when they worked together in the 2018 thriller City of Lies. The, on Monday, Greg Rocky Brooks, a location manager on the film, and Depp managed to reach an agreement just weeks before the case was set to go to a civil trial in Los Angeles, per court documents obtained by People. As they were able to settle the suit, Judge Holly J. Fuji, all right then, agreed to delay the trial from, oh, July 25th to January 5th of next year. Okay, so we weren't ever going to get coverage at the end of this month. It just was going to continue forever. According to People, if Depp, or Depp fulfills all the requirements of the settlement the case will be dismissed interesting the court filing did not reveal what specific things depp will have to accomplish before then yeah that's interesting if there if it's a multi-step process okay is he supposed to pay this creep out in like multiple payments or like what are we doing here According to the original lawsuit filed in 2018, Brooks claims uh, that while filming a scene for City of Lies on April 13th, 2017, Depp became angry after he had to inform the actor that he could only film one more exterior shot that night due to permit requirements. Brooks says he approached an LAPD officer for protection. Depp pursued him, allegedly punching him twice in the ribs after screaming, Who the fuck are you? You have no right to tell me what to do. The location manager then claims he didn't react to Depp's punches, and the actor said he'd give him $100,000 to punch me in the face right now. According to the lawsuit, Depp was eventually escorted from the scene by his own bodyguards. Again, that comports with literally nothing that we've ever seen before, and anywhere else so and yeah this also I, it's just baffling bafflingly stupid but here we are back in 2019 when the trial was originally scheduled to begin brooks lawyer pat harris told variety we obviously recognize that the hierarchy in hollywood oh my god yes how the culture would just come and it would just protect a a wealthy powerful man oh god we we love your arguments dude and this trial right like it says back in 2019 so this was supposed to take place before the herd trial was even scheduled because that was originally scheduled for 2020 and then all hell broke loose after that and we all know how that all ended and actually we got kind of like a firm ending to this one we obviously recognize that the hierarchy in hollywood johnny depp is on top and location managers are somewhat mid-level or towards the bottom in any confrontation between the two of them no matter who started it no matter who's responsible johnny depp is going to come out on top and our guy's going to come out damaged oh my god yeah poison the well it just really shows you that this guy didn't really have much of a case so again if it's like okay what are we gonna do okay what are we doing in order to get rid of this case right now what do you want 100 bucks cool buy beat it Depp's lawyer at the time, Adam Waldman, told the rap in 2018 that Depp never touched the person suing him, as over a dozen witnesses present or present will attest. In a court filing, we have generally denied all claims and we will fight these latest sham allegations. And the uh, attorney told Variety in 2019 that they are planning on lodging their own complaint in response to the allegations. As soon as the evidence defeats Mr. Brooks in the trial, we immediately launch malicious prosecution claims against his attorneys. Yeah, no, that all makes sense. But yeah, man, they settled. Okay, so read into that what you will. But again, if all the evidence was overwhelmingly on Depp's side, 
this was more or less just, okay, let's just fucking move on with all this stuff. Or maybe it was a condition of a new role or something that he's going to be signing soon in order. It's like, okay, just get rid of this. Okay. And we'll fucking pay it out or something like that. Just, you know what? No more court cases going forward. We want a clean slate, clean break. Okay. Just fucking deal with this stuff. He was seeking. I remember originally it was like unspecified amount of damages or something like that. And again, maybe it's a monetary settlement. Maybe it's just a condition settlement like don't be beating up anybody else on set uh, on set and it's like don't worry never have never will fuck so yeah is that a win is that a loss uh, it's probably a win okay because he doesn't have to go through trial anymore nothing else is really going to be holding up his career resurgence so yeah just fucking move right along because he's got another album coming out here in a couple of days so it'll be interesting to see how that works out and because we know at least one line in there is at least a nice little dig at amber heard maybe she'll be trying to sue because all of her fucking motions got thrown out today judge as karate denied all the motions of amber heard's post trial motions all of this is care of chanley painter and you remember who chanley painter is right girl in the green dress ha ah, good old days right well, let's take a look. Let's take a look here. So we get the motion. We got the motion from the desk of Judge Ascarati. This cause came before the court upon defendant Amber Laura Hurd's post-trial motions. After review of defendant's post-trial motions, plaintiff's opposition, and the relevant statutes and case law, it is is therefore ordered as follows defendant amber laura heard's post trial motions one through six are denied Doosh! and the reasons stated on the record defendant amber laura heard's post trial motion seven is likewise denied for the reasons outlined below yeah so no investigation into juror 15 but more on that in a moment the purpose of voir dire is to obtain a fair and impartial jury voir dire is necessary to ascertain uh, whether any juror has any interest in the case or any bias or prejudice in relation to it and that he is in fact stands indifferent in the cause the summons issued to juror 15 listed a legal name and address and no birth date was noted so yeah all of that rigmarole about oh no he was clearly born after 1970 but before 1945 or whenever the fuck it was alleged that was never relevant for voir dire purposes so therefore it's irrelevant to the case. Nice try. It just didn't get past the judge. Sucks to suck. Now the court has pulled juror 15's uh, jury questionnaire as attached and redacted. Oh, we got it. You better believe we got it. Juror 15 completed the jury questionnaire as himself, filling in his proper birth date. Oh, oh, you guys had access to that. And you still filed that motion? Wow, that's sad. Uh, the information presented. Uh, let's just. Uh, oh man, we can't zoom in on that one. What the fuck is wrong with you? For uh, no evidence of fraud. Oh okay, yeah, on the jury questionnaire matches the information juror 15 provided to the court. Juror 15 was vetted by the court on the record and met the statutory requirements for service. The parties also questioned the jury panel for a full day and informed the court that the jury panel was acceptable. I think. I made that argument yesterday as well therefore and depth team did it as well therefore due process was guaranteed and provided to all the parties in this litigation voir dire is conducted in a fair and impartial manner yeah everybody was there for it and they had didn't have a problem with it at the time there's no evidence of fraud or wrongdoing yeah so get wrecked further the defendant was provided with the jury list five days prior to a commencement of the trial and knew or should have known yeah yeah and if you didn't know well ignorance isn't a defense we just know you're stupid and i guess it's just been officially enshrined in court documents she had every opportunity to object to or to avoid dire on this issue Parties generally must make objections at the time of the ruling or order is made to put the court on notice that an issue is meant to be preserved. Yeah, of course, preserving your objections. They've done that several times during their motion practice days and after the official court days were done. Any error in the information shown on such copy of the jury panel shall not be grounds for a mistrial nor assignable as error on appeal. And the parties in the case shall be responsible for verifying the accuracy of such information. Huh, yeah, no, exactly. If you had a problem with that shit, should have dealt with it at the time. Now you can't. No use crying over spilt milk. 
Consequently, defendant, as well as the plaintiff, and the affirmative obligation to ensure the accuracy of the information provided for the jury panel. A party cannot wait until receiving an adverse verdict to object <laughs> oh, for the first time, or on an issue uh, known since the beginning of the trial. The issue has been waived. Yeah, no, exactly. It's all been decided. You can't be drugging this or dragging this stuff up. Even if, arguendo, uh, the objection had not been waived, objections to an alleged discrepancy in jury lists and any uh, dis legal disabilities of potential jurors must be made in accordance with Virginia Code section blasey blasey. That section provides relevant part. All of that fun stuff, okay, and it's not grounds for a new trial or anything like that, therefore. So, furthermore, while parties must make this objection while following the above procedure, the party moving under this code section must provide some evidence of prejudice. Defendant has neither followed the proper procedure nor shown evidence of prejudice. Defendant does not allege juror 15's inclusion on the jury prejudiced, or prejudiced her in any way. Juror was vetted, set for the entire jury, deliberated, and reached a verdict. The only evidence before this court is that this juror and all jurors followed their oaths, the court's instructions, and our and orders. This court is bound by the no, oh, competent decision of the jury. This order is final. Fucking pay up, stupid. So as Chanley also points out, also handed down by the chief judge, Hasgrati, an order unsealing many of the Depp Heard documents, which, if any of these are particularly spicy, and why did you, it should have just been posted in two different pictures here, but a lot of stuff was, uh, Unsealed and should be within the next couple of days if it's not already up there on Fairfax County as website all of those exhibits Okay counterclaim I guess the motions all of that fun stuff has been unsealed Emergency motions all of the motions. It looks like that's very interesting. Okay, so you know that just kind of reads as uh, you know how Amber Heard and her team were going around saying oh There was just so much evidence that was uh, not allowed into the court. This reads as a big middle finger Okay to that argument right there. Listen, man. We had motion practice and all this shit Okay, and now it's been unsealed what your team tried to discredit and what the other team successfully or unsuccessfully tried to discredit from the case Okay, so anything that was was brought into this courtroom was argued for under the rules of the court so stop this fucking bullshit okay and then just to drive everything home appropriately juror 15's questionnaire the judge attached to her order denoting his proper birth date yeah like was mentioned before an it management uh self-employed date of birth 19 fucking 70 okay resident the united states resident of virginia for the past year and all of the appropriate stuff had been been appropriately filled out as of August 26th, 2021. So guess what? The motherfucker was 51, depending on his date of birth, 51 or 52 years old, had nothing to do with anything. So guess what, bitch? Pay the fuck up. Let, you only got a couple more days left to file that appeal, but man... You're just really missing all of those funds that are there, and uh, I don't think uh, Daddy Elon's kind of immersed in a big uh, Trump debacle right now. So, yeah, man, uh, I don't think anybody's uh, making it rain for you anymore. You know, hey, you could hearken back to some of your old stripper days, but see a booby trap on the river's iron. Oh, well, with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.